As you can see, we are at the hummock today. And the hummock is a very sacred place to us, a place called Wonduma. And Wonduma is a place of fighting where young warriors used to come and fight. And underneath Wongara here is one of the fighting grounds. Many, many years ago, the um, other tribes would come in and they would come in to fight for a, to see who was the strongest warriors in the strongest tribe. So as they came in, in, during the fight it was, there was a big flash of light that actually came from the sky. And when they looked up into the sky, the whole tribe seen it. They could see a figure that was coming down from the sky and when it came down, it looked like it was floating. And as it came down, they could see a pair of feet. And then from the feet, they could see some legs. And then as it got closer, they could see it was a formation of a man. The Aboriginal people was watching him and as he came down, his feet touched the earth. And as his feet touched the earth, he gently went back up. And as he went back up, the people seen him go back up into the sky and he went up to the heavens. What happened was, after he disappeared, the earth started shaking. And as the earth shook, it started shaking, all the trees and everything started really shaking. And what happened was, there was much, so much pressure from the ground that the blood of the earth came up. And as it came up, it formed an explosion. And when it exploded, all the animals was cast out and everywhere. As the blood of the earth came out of the earth, our people had to stand back and see the marvellous wonders what Burel have created. For there was a message in the story was, stop fighting. He built this Wongara hill, the flaming hill for a reason, because when you stand on top of the hill, you can see far as across the waters, there was a greater enemy coming across. So there was a principle in your story behind it. So and that's the story of Wongara, the flaming hill.